talked about the modern work, way of working. I'm going to show you what that looks like using Office 365, including Skype for Business, and, of course, the awesome Surface Hub. Now, in this case, for this demo, I am a team leader, and I'm working on an important product launch of a 3D printer product. And I'm going to start my day here in Delve, that intelligent application. And underneath Delve is the Office Graph that has all the signals from my content and my actions that can serve up for me the most relevant, important information based on what I'm doing right now and what's going on around me. As I scroll down, you can see there's information from all across Office 365. But there's also information here from Salesforce because we've extended the Office Graph now with a new API so other, other people can integrate into the graph. So now as a user, I have all of the information that's most relevant to me right here in one place. Now, uh, I see that, I know, I told you my 3D printer project is the most important thing to me, so it's no surprise that right at the top here I have this new video that the team's created for this launch. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, check that out. And it takes me right into the Office 365 video portal. This is the YouTube for the enterprise. I can manage all of my video content here. I handle permissions, different channels. Maybe there's a sales channel and a training channel. And just the right people have the right access. And on the back end, Azure Media Service is doing all the hard work of the video encoding and making sure it renders great on all my different devices as well. Now, this video, I don't really love this image. I think I need a little bit of different creative work. So I'm actually going to go back to Delve, and I'm going to search for someone to help me you know, spruce up this video a little bit. So I'm going to search for someone who knows something about design. And I'll use the, the, the intelligent uh, enterprise search with Delve. And I find this UX design group. This is that new Office 365 group experience. And I see in this group here, it's a bunch of people who've come together around design. And I can see all the content trending around them. But if I go into the profile of that group, right here, kind of a new view of this Office 365 group's hub, I can see all the content related to the group, meetings, things in OneDrive, emails, and my notebooks even as well, and members. So it's a great single place. And I also can even see who's online right now. Now, I know Jem, and I've worked with him before. So I'm going to go ahead and click right in to see Jem. And I see that right over here actually shows me the skills he has. It's going to be UX design and video production. So hey, for all of my SharePoint people, SharePoint people out there, hopefully you recognize this as next-gen expertise search. But this is better because it's actually auto-populated by the Office Graph. So it's much more insightful, and your users don't have to do the work of completing their profile to get those insights in there. All right, now Jem's online, so I can just IM him right from here to ask him if he's uh, willing to help me out with that great Skype for Business experience. Now, this is the new Skype for Business experience where I can video, I can voice, I can IM with anyone. And we've actually integrated the consumer network as well. So as a Skype for Business user, I can actually go out and search for people in the consumer network. Maybe I'm a doctor with a patient, or I'm in interviewing employees this way as well. But and you can see it's a very Skype-inspired experience. So for example, I want to say, hey, video ninja, because he's kind of a ninja, I understand. Use those awesome emoticons. And then say, need your help. Oops. There we go. So because who doesn't like those cool emoticons? But so it's a very familiar consumer experience that we've brought into the workplace, because there's millions and millions of people that Gurdip mentioned are using the consumer experience. So it's friendly and familiar as they drop in. But on the back end, you have all of the enterprise controls, the manageability that you've expected from Link. So it's really bringing together the best of both worlds into this experience. All right, so Jim's thinking about getting back to me. So we're going to assume he's willing to help me, and we're going to just keep rolling from there. So he's going to help me. So I'm going to go ahead and move over to my 3D launch team. And I want to add him to this Office 365 group around the launch product. And you can see I can just click right over here and add him. As Gurdjieff mentioned, I don't have to hassle IT with mundane tasks, because you have much better things to do. Uh, but I can just add this and manage the group myself. But again, in, from a group perspective, I have that Skype integration. So I can do a group message here or even a group meeting with a single click. It's that simple to bring my group together. Now, speaking of meetings, I feel like I'm spending a lot of time in meetings, probably because of this product launch. But I want to go use this new experience that Gurdip mentioned, this Delve Org Analytics, to find out what's really happening with my time and what's going on across my organization. So here for the first time is an early sneak peek into this new experience that will be coming to Office 365 later this year. And it might look a little different, because we're going to get a lot of feedback from you and many others about what this should be before it's final. But essentially, think of it as your health tracker for your work. And I can tap into the all information, again, in the Office Graph, all those signals to understand my time, my interactions, and that of my team as well. 
And you can see I have a view of my team's interactions. I even have things like my work-life balance based on communications I'm sending out of office time. And then if I go down here, I see my meeting time, and this is kind of number of business hours spent in meetings, and man, I'm at 60%, and actually getting this insightful notification, again, based on this information in the graph, that I'm 12% more than the company average. If I click in, I can even see a trend line of how my meeting time compares to the broader organization. So great new insights. But I want to take a look at what's going on with my team as well. So I'm going to go click into this work map to get a sense of all the different connections. Now, those lines and the thickness of the lines symbolize the intensity of the interactions between these different organizations. Now, I know I'm seeing that I'm spending a lot of time in meetings. I want to go and see what's happening from a team level as well. So I'm going to go over here and pick just my meetings for the team and see what happens. See, when I do that, you see the intensity changes, but also some really insightful things just popped. There's actually no meetings taking place between the sales team and the product team. The meetings are happening only with my team. We're the kind of the intersection between those two organizations. Well, I don't want that. That's certainly a missing connection. We need to get the sales and the product team talking directly. Well, it turns out my next meeting is with the uh, product team. So I can just go ahead and add the sales team to it and get that done and make that connection. So here I am in Outlook 2016, great new app. I'm going to go ahead into this launch meeting where I have the product team, and I'm going to add the sales team as well. And this can be a distribution list, or it can also be an Office 365 group, because it works across all aspects of Office 365. All right, so I've got them added. And actually, you see here, I have this attachment that I'm gonna, we're going to work on during the meeting. But hopefully, you notice that little cloud means it's not actually an attachment. This is a link out to my OneDrive for Business account. So when we go into the meeting and share this, we're all working on one version, not different attachments. All right, so before that meeting starts, I have a few minutes. So I'm going to actually go over and check out the conversation going on around my that launch group. So I'm in my Outlook 2016 experience down here in groups. I can just go to that launch team, that same Office 365 group. And you see there's a conversation happening. And it actually is a, in a conversation way. It goes top to bottom. So I have a sense that it's not in my inbox. This is actually a group conversation. And I can reply here. But I see that they're actually talking about needing to share the launch plan with our events team and whether we should do that. Well, I definitely think we should. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it while I'm in here. So I'm going to go ahead and send a new email. I'm going to send it to Bonnie who is in the events team. And you notice she's outside my organization, but that's OK. I can share with her as well. And when I go to attach that, you see I get with the new 20, Office 2016 experience my most recently used documents right there. Because that's kind of how we work. We're working on a document, and we want to share it. It's the, the last thing we've been working on. So it makes it so easy. I don't have to go browse for it. So I'll go ahead and grab that launch plan. And you'll see, again, it's not actually putting a real attachment on there. It's actually creating a link, sharing it from OneDrive for Business. And I can go ahead if I want, and I can change the permissions right here. If I want to do the old-fashioned way, I can attach a copy, but I'm not going to do that. And when I hit Send, all the permissioning is handled. Bonnie has access. I don't have to go somewhere else and manage my permissions. It's all done right there. And they're all going to be working on one version. We're working in a modern way with a single click. So hopefully you see, with Office 365, this integrated experience, from a user perspective, it's truly easier and better than all those consumer cloud storage options. And you get all of the enterprise controls to manage the content on the back end. Again, the best of both worlds in that experience. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and jump into that meeting and get started here. I'll go ahead and join from my Skype experience. And it loads it up. And I'll get dropped in right into a rich, of course, video, multi-party ex uh, video experience. Because as Gurdip said, without video, you're really not getting almost half of the communication experience going on. All right. So I have my thing here. Now, I had that uh, attachment, right? And I'm going to go ahead and load that up. And when I do that, it's going to pull that shared document from OneDrive. And it actually is launching Word Online. And it's going to do that for me. It's going to do that for all of the participants as well. And I keep my video feed here. Here's the active speaker. So I can be dialoguing while we're all in this document doing that real-time co-auth that we've been showing you in that online experience. And again, it's not just presenting this out. We're actually all in the document working together doing that co-creation experience. You can see there's four other people editing at the same time. Now, we've been talking about this in the online experience for a while. But now I'm very excited to show you for the first time ever that we have taken that real-time co-auth experience and brought it to the desktop app as well. So let me go ahead and launch Word 2016 here. 
where we will show you for the first time how this looks just the same and just as rich in the desktop experience. So as I drop in, you see there they are. My co-authors are editing right there. There's Ben, there's Kimberly. I'm seeing pixel by pixel exactly what's happening in the document. We can really, truly do that co-creation experience, whether in a desktop or online. Perfect. I'm glad you're as excited as I am about that. All right. So the launch plan's looking good. I'm going to let the team keep working on that. And I'm going to head off to my next meeting. But of course, as I'm walking to my next meeting, I want to make the most of my time. And I like to work on all my devices, too. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my iPhone here to do some email on the way to the meeting. Now, we know there's been a lot of, there has been a lot of mobile email use. But there actually hasn't been a lot of email productivity on mobile devices until recently. And that's thanks to the new Outlook experiences we have across all the platforms. Here I'll show you on the iPhone. So if I go in, and you can see that it's a rich app. I have email, I have calendar, even great uh, attachment handling too. And I can just swipe. Maybe I want to go this way. Or I can, I've customized these swipes too, so I can change that to whatever I want to do on this side and swipe this way too. Because we know we all have very unique ways we want to manage our email. And so we let you customize this to make it most efficient for you. Again, a really powerful new app, again, on iOS, Android, and in preview on Windows 10 too. And later, Brad's actually going to show you how to manage this app, which is super important. Um, but I see that. Uh, I have this email from Ben here, and he wants me to review this Sway that he created for the launch. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right here on my phone, too. And Sway is a gorgeous interactive canvas for sharing your ideas. It's the newest member of the Office family. And I'm excited, as you can see, and go through. It's rich. It's got the animations. I can even click through and see my different my photo stacks. Really beautiful, even on a small device, but looks great on a large device as well. And very excited to announce today that Sway will be coming to the Office 365 business and education service plans next month. So all of you who have been swaying in your personal life, now you can sway at work, too. All right. So now I'm in my meeting here in the, in the conference room. And of course, I'm using the amazing Surface Hub. But first, let's talk about this device. Stunning 84-inch 4K ultra high def, 120 hertz multi-touch device. This is the largest one in the market. And in it is built-in cameras, mics, speakers, CPU, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, NFC. Literally, all I need is a power cord, and I'm ready to go. And it's really designed from the ground up for collaboration in the room and across the world. It really lets you uh, unlock that power of the group. And also, this is a conference room device that will actually get used because it's so easy and it's awesome. So we talked about, let's uh, talk about how simple it is. So we have the Skype integration right there. So literally to get started, all I have to do is join the meeting with a single touch. Everyone can do that. And uh, let's go ahead and say, yeah, that one. And it drops us right into the view. And I'm in, and as we would in any kind of meeting, go into the, the video call here and a whiteboard as well. I'm going to go and restart. I'll try that again. All right, we're going to get the Skype meeting going. Try that one more time. Simple to reset as well, as you can see. You could do that. Perfect. It'll get going. All right, we'll try one more time here. Get our call going. Here we go. All right. And you can see, actually, you can switch the cameras across, too, depending on where you're standing. So a very natural experience. All right, so as the launch, as the video loads up, I'm going to go ahead and start inking on my digital whiteboard. Again, very, very natural inking experience. And I can say, hey, for the meeting today, I want to look at the sales pipeline. And I want to look at the uh, launch, plan, or the launch uh, deck, too. But you know what? Because it's actually a virtual whiteboard, I can change my mind. And it's very simple. So I can just go down here, and I can grab that item, and I can move it up and say, you know what? I want to talk about the launch deck first. That's right. And of course, if we're going to do the sales pipeline, we should really get Luke in on the call. Oh, right. And this is how real work happens. We start talking about something, we realize the right person's not in the meeting. That's OK. It's super easy to invite them. So let me just go over here and add Luke as well, because we always have to have Luke Skywalker, too. So go jump him in and invite. Hello, Star Wars friends. May the fourth be with you. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> All right. Now, of course, it's more than just whiteboarding. It's also about sharing content as well. So go ahead and why don't you pull up that launch deck so we can take a look at it. And you see it kind of connects directly with the Surface Pro, which is great. 
And uh, it's not just a projection, though. It's a two-way experience. So if I go ahead and swipe, you see that it works here, but it's also actually controlling the surface over there as well. And same, so if Ben wants to go ahead and move forward, you can see that goes as well. So it's a two-way experience. But the same goes for inking as well. Again, natural experience. Maybe I want to talk about this and maybe move it over here. You see it's actually showing up on the surface. Again, that two-way experience. And same with Ben. And this could be true for anyone who's on the video experience as well. They can be interacting really naturally. We call that ink back and touch back experience. All right, so that look, deck looks good. Let's go ahead and switch over and look at that uh, sales pipeline. So here I am in my CRM online experience where I can get all of my sales information, my pipeline. I can see the leads that are happening as well. But I want to do a little deeper analysis in this. So I've actually pulled this out into a Power BI dashboard so I can do some deeper analysis. And here I have my dashboard pulled up. It looks, again, simple, beautiful with touch, too. Now, this gross revenue by territory, I want to know a bit more about that. So I'll go ahead and select in there and kind of get a, the, the click down, which, again, is a dashboard view. I can keep drilling deeper and deeper with Power BI. And I see here I have gross margin and I have gross revenue. What I really wish is I actually had the combination of those two things. Well, with Power BI, I can do that. So let me just go ahead and grab that chart, and I can pull it right up and lay it on top. And Power BI does the work to actually combine those two data sets, put in a new visualization of a scatter chart that actually is, based on the data, the best way to visualize that information. All that simple with a single swipe that front. Now, that's the analysis I want. And again, I simple. I can go back to my whiteboard experience. I can add some new insights as well, making it very simple. So, um, and then when I'm done with all this, too, I can just go ahead and I could email it right from here. Um, I could share it back to my personal OneNote, or I could email it right from here as well. Because it's a shared device, I want to save all this back. And when I'm done with the meeting, all I have to do is hit the I'm done at the bottom, and it takes all of the, the information off of it, clears it off for the next meeting to come in. So I don't have to worry about information being left behind or even erasing my, my whiteboard, too. Well, I'm not going to say I'm done just yet, because actually I'm going to flip over and show you that we've been doing this entire presentation actually using the new Skype broadcast experience. Let's go in here. I'll flip back over here. Here, in fact, is that, new, that brand new Skype broadcast experience that Satya announced this morning. And you can see I have the video feed. I can have content. I even have social sentiment analysis here with, with Bing analysis over here. So I can actually see the audience view and what the feedback is about the presentation. And this is the attendee experience. And they could drop in and go back in real time or forward. So maybe you came to the meeting late. You can go back and catch up. All that's totally possible. And I'll have them actually pull up the producer view on the screen, too, so you can see what that looks like. But with some really simple controls, you can decide the video feed. You can decide whether it's content. And we've designed this to make it so easy that anyone can run this. So you don't have any more expensive, complex systems for doing broadcast meetings. It's just part of Skype in Office 365. And when the video is all done, I can just go and post it right back to my Office 365 video portal for people to watch later as well. So thanks, Ben. All right. So what I showed you is just one example of a product launch team being, being productive across the Microsoft Cloud and these great hardware experiences. This truly is productivity in the cloud-first, mobile-first world. With that, back to Gurdeep.